When we first started doing the penstock and large diameter cylinders, uh, we would rent. We rented some manipulators, and unfortunately what we were renting would not be able to do everything that we required. Coil manufacturing in the industry for blenders and atomizers, you know, Lincoln came in, we said this is specification, this is what we need to be able to do with the machine, it must be able to do the following criteria, and the Lincoln equipment has performed exactly as we asked, um, and it's far exceeded our expectation. We realized more that if we ever did to continue to be able to do this sort of business, we require a manipulator that had the proper tracking system, a tracking system that would work is critical. We've had previous manipulators, they would go into what we call a death wobble. When the boom is stuck out, is extended fully out, it, could, it would start to wobble. And that, that it was like a death wobble. You could not stop that thing. You had to stop the weld right then and there. This thing is like, you know, it's like an iron horse. It just goes out, boom out, doesn't matter where you are, you start it, it works. Half the reason we bought the system is for safety. We don't want the guys up 12, 13, 14 feet up in the air trying to watch something be welded. You with the camera system and with the beauty of the Lincoln system, it is it's nice and clear. The guy can be down on the ground beside the machine while the boom is up. He locates everything from the camera, brings it over, and starts to weld from the camera. He doesn't need to be up top. You live off that weld camera. Seam tracking, it's a must. On previous manipulators that we've rented, without the seam tracking, we're dead in the water. You need the seam tracking. In order to stay competitive, we had to get the Lincoln manipulator. To use our previous manipulator, the, the tracking system did not work correctly. The camera was there, but it was not as clear as this. There's too many differences. To weld something by hand, by uh, flux core, you know, just wire feed, if you're using wire feed, this is two, three times faster, minimal. Setup time on this is very fast. This thing, just you just shift it over, bang, it sets up, the guy's again on the camera. And he just bang, up over, moves it over, and just starts welding again. It's set up, very quick on the setup. And that is a return on investment, because previous new systems, it would take, it could take them at least half an hour sometimes to, to shift from one weld to another, which is huge, half an hour. Just reset up in the old way of doing it, and you can do this in like five minutes, like less than five, move over, down, guy's set back up, and he's welded. There's huge return there. Uh, would I recommend this unit? Well, if I was being honest, yes, 100%. But uh, would I want my competitors to have this? No, because right now I have an advantage. If anybody's using a lower welding system, they won't perform as good as this. So if I was gonna be honest, yes, I would totally recommend this system to anybody. But if everyone gets one, then I won't be ahead of the boat on this one.